spring break, guys! Greetings and salutations, my name is Comic Fire, and welcome back from our Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we took on Elisa and won! Now we're gonna go to Drithvale City with the help of Elisa. She's going to do us a uh, big service. Grats on 30k, bro. But before that, oh god, I forgot we had to. Wait, do I have to fight Sharon? Oh, yep. You've got a bolt badge. I've got a bolt badge. Really should have uh, rearranged my team, but. Shouldn't matter too much. Sharon's not really a big deal. Lyperd. Well, Paige, we're just gonna have to show Lyperds how it's done. Fake out's an annoying move. It'll always go first, and you'll always flinch unless you have an ability that prevents flinching. Torment prevents you from using the same move twice in a row. So now we can't use Smackdown after this turn. So we'll just go for a Rock Blast. And you already know Pursuit. <clears throat> so yeah, it's finally spring break. I'm going to be spending my spring break filming ridiculous amounts of Pokemon... I'm going to Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. Uh, changing the battery on three of my Game Boy Color games. Well, two Game Boy Color games and uh, a Game Boy original game. All right. Well, if, she's, if he's sending out uh, Panpour, we'll just send out to Walter. Simply because it resists it, I guess. Actually, no, to Walter. I really need to train to Walter. Ooh, Skulls can be an annoying move. It's the only water-type attack that can cause the burn status. If we're burned, we'll take a little bit of damage every time. Well, that wasn't all... That wasn't Team Crackers. Crumpets. If you're burned, not only will you take damage every turn, but your, at your attack stat takes a serious drop. Of course, this one doesn't really matter. Oh, critical hit, yay. <laughs> Alright, come on, survive this scald. I, I suppose that was fair. <sighs> the only reason I even keep DeWalter on the team now is because we were really gonna need him for the uh, next gym. And I did want to show Tim Burton evolving. Ah! Oh. Wow, I just that sounded really bad. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna keep Tim Burton in anyway. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna send Karma out. I haven't showed I haven't showed Karma in battle yet. But I do want to check Tim Burton's uh, ability. I'm gonna do that crap. I went to bag. All right, Pokemon. Tim Burton summary. Oh! Okay, Tim Burton has the Guts ability. Which gives it an attack boost if it has a status defect, like Burn. Which means it's not only going to bypass Burn, that Burn's actually going to make it stronger. So if it's faster than, uh... Sharon's Servine, which it won't be, it's a Servine. But if it can survive a hit from that Servine... We're good. What, it's still alive? Why is it always, like, barely alive? So I figured out what was the issue. Like, with, I said, like, because uh, Karma Heroes Hustle. All Darumakas have Hustle, but when they evolve, they always get Sheer Force. Just thought I'd say that. Oh, and the Dream World's up. Of course, I haven't had, I've never actually used it yet on uh, White, so I don't really know. Yeah, Thrash isn't amazing. It kind of turns your Pokemon into a Berserker for a few minutes. Oh, I want to show you, uh, if Tim Burton can survive a Servine's Assault, then... I don't know. I just want to show you the power boost Guts will give it. You know what, I might actually... I'm actually going to heal it. Boom. 
But I'm not going to freak out about it like some of us, my crocs. <laughs> Alright, that actually did... Well, I mean, I got 3 HP back, not the worst that could have happened. Live! Oh, critical hit, lovely. Eh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Now you see, Sharon, I'm not as pathetic as I used to be. And you see, in the old games, like, first through fourth, or maybe just first through third, I don't know. Uh, growth only increased their special attack. Now it actually increases their regular attack, too. Makes it a lot better. Yeah, that's time I didn't lose to you, you punk ass. <laughs> Cause you suck! That's nice. Alright, let's go. Who's that? Arrow sending. Oh, why, if it isn't Elisa. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. This is Alder. <clears throat> Alder, the Unova Regents champion. Why would the champion be goofy off in a place like this? Cause I can! See, I don't really like how they handled this. I mean, hey, I'm Alder. I'm the Unova Regents Pokemon League champion. It's, I don't like how he just said it. I mean, I'd like... I'd like kind of a... A shock factor. You know, like, I had, like, anyone who played Red and Blue for the first time would have never guessed that your rival was going to be the champion. You never knew that there was a champion. <clears throat> and then the... I mean, I guess after every other generation, you could kind of predict whether the champion was going to be who it was. Like, you know, Lance in Generation 2. I mean, you can kind of predict it. Like, I guess if I wasn't, like, 6 the first time I ever got that far, it would have been more of a easier thing to predict. But I mean, hey, it's I'm fighting Lance. I mean, we're fighting two preschoolers here in a double battle. And they both have hurt ears. Now, her deer is intimidate, decrease both of our attack, and why does my voice keep cracking? I'm just gonna give it a good old smackdown. <clears throat> I'm using Crunch, that's uh... Crunch is pretty much an upgraded version of Bite. With a chance to defeat, uh, decrease defense, instead of Bite just uh... Having a chance to flinch, and I'm gonna switch out into uh, Tim Burton here, because he evolves in one level, and I really want him to evolve. So I, I want to show it to you. Push it into its Orion Berry. Oh, it's Citrus Berry. I don't know if I explained the recoil moves. Moves like takedown will uh, damage the opponent at the cost of about one fourth of your HP. One fourth of the damage you uh, dealt. I really should hit the other herd here. That was kind of a waste of a move. Well, it leveled up. If it can survive, it'll evolve. Do I take the risk? Yes, I do. I was gonna hit Panpour anyway. Jeez. Now, there's an upgraded version called Double It. Um, Deals back one third of the damage you did at the, and it does a lot more damage. And an even upgrade, more upgraded version that has a 150 base damage, but it's a uh, rock, deals half the damage back to you that you dealt. 
And only a few Pokemon can learn it. Here we go, guys. Tim Burton is evolving! Which means its name isn't really funny anymore. Oh well. Congratulations, your Tim Burton evolved into Gerdur. If I trade it, it'll evolve into Conkildur. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Let's roll. The Trithvale Drawbridge is just ahead. Cool stuff. Champion is the strongest of the strong, that's all there is to it. Ah, uh, who's mad? Yeah, no one cares no one cares, Alder. You I don't I don't like Alder as a champion either. This team sucks. <laughs> Boring as hell. It's me, Elisa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks, bye. It's amazing how far graphics have come in gaming. And now we can access more of Unova. I have a TV gig, so I've got to go. It may take some time getting used to, so do your best, best both of you, and I have a lisp. What I am as a trainer. Have fun, Sharon. So let's go over the Drithvale Drawbridge. Kind of creepy music. Hey. Yep. If you hear a ruffle of feathers, a shadow will appear on the ground. It'll be a feather or a Pokemon. If you give a feather to a Pokemon, it gains one EV in a stat. Which means four feathers results in one... Like another plus to your stat when it levels up. And a resist wing, which will increase our defense EVs. It, it should. It might be special defense. Now you can farm here for them, but I don't recommend it. Charles. I love the music here. It's so funky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> mm, so you're the trainer's Elise who was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. So we lowered that bridge of Team Plasma guys we'd caught done escaped in all the ruckus. You can say whatever you want, but it's important that y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, ain't you? Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Ah, uh, Sharon, you're one you're more one-dimensional than a piece of paper. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. So if you liked what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. In the next episode, we're gonna be going down to the cold storage and fighting Team Plasma. Alright, see you guys then. Would any of you mind helping me evolve my Bulldor and Girder? Uh, leave your friend code down below. Uh, look at episode 5 for my friend code. Uh, I'll trade to the Bulldor. Uh, and the Girder. And uh, you just trade back. Alright, see you guys next time. Actually, never mind. I already have a guy that'll help me out with that. I wish I knew how to... I wish I actually could delete just one scene of stuff, but my filming method doesn't really let me. I, I, I've kept you for longer than I need to. Alright, thanks guys. And all next week, five episodes of Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury a day. Except for Wednesday. Get pumped!